What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Don. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button for your boy. But all right, we're going to get right into this video today, man. So for today, we are going to go over, since they changed the meta back, you know what I'm saying? The new meta build to say it's pretty much, you know, another small player, but what a little bit more now because, um, a few things have changed in the game and you want you need to make sure that if you are one of those meta type players or meta chasing type players that you always stay up on the best builds for the new meta in the game so with that being said you already know it's a point guard we're going with all the guard builds you know what i'm saying we're gonna go ahead and make them 510 minimum weight six foot wingspan and then we're gonna keep the body type to whatever you feel like you need my boy and then, so, all right, for the close shot, we're going to go ahead and put that up to a 54. Uh, the driving layup, you really don't need this very high, but we're going to give him a 60. And the driving dunk, we're taking that all the way up to an 80. Because if you want to make a meta build, you need to make sure that you can finish, bro. Because that is, that's the thing that separates the, the good from the great is finishing, bro. So, listen, for these, for, for the rest of these attributes, we're going to kind of, we're going to make sure that we keep everything nice and in line with what we're trying to do, man. You see, we got 11 finish badges. I told you this build is going to be able to finish, and I meant just that. So, look, we're going to go ahead and put the, the mid-range shot up to an 84. Three-point shot, we're going to max that bad boy out, man. You want to hit that 99. Just trust me on that. The power of a 99 three in case you ain't seen it yet is ridiculous. Like, for real. It, it honestly, I don't know, man. They, they shouldn't have let the game be like this, bro. My, like my man Jay Cole said, somebody should have told me it would be like this. But anyway, uh, with that pass accuracy, we're going to go ahead and put that up to a 97. Don't think I forgot, man. We do get 35 of those green bean badges, you know what I'm saying? Just be be out there spraying that. Thing. You honestly don't even have to green it. That's the crazy part. Uh, with the 99 three ball, you can literally white it. takes. I won't say it takes no skill because that's not really true. But it does not take a lot. I, I'm going to have to keep it a buck with you. It does not take a lot to green or make a shot with a 99 three ball. If you can't do it with a 99 three ball, it's you. It ain't the game, bro. I promise you that. So with that being said, uh, we get 37 of them there ankle breaking badges. You know, the playmaking, 37 of them. That's quite a bit. You could take that all the way up to 43 if you chose to do so with those extra six badges you get. But hey man, that is on you. That's your prerogative. If you feel like you need 40 plus badges in one category who am i to tell you any different so perimeter defense we're gonna put that to a 64 um in all honesty this build is not i repeat is not gonna be out on the perimeter trying to shut nobody down bro this is not no lockdown this is an op offensive guard you will use this to get buckets it's not like these little builds got much defense anyway but we will be putting still on it because this build is fast bro this build is fast it's little and it it be getting in and out of those passing lanes and with that hall of fame interceptor bro it is it's a glitch bro it, it really feels like that with the speed we're gonna go to a 90 and i know you already thinking bro like what's up with that 90 speed like why would you have a 90 speed because we're not worried about the off ball movement for one 90 is pretty fast for off ball and number two, when you have the ball, you got a 96. So we not worried about no speed on this build. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take acceleration. We're going to put that up to a 95. You don't need it any higher, bro. Just, just trust me on that. We're going to leave the vertical right where it is. Don't even don't even think about touching it. Don't, just leave it alone. Don't even mess with it. You know what I'm saying? Don't touch nothing else. Then we're going to take the stamina. We're going to put it as high as it can possibly go. But we ain't too worried about stamina. Now with 37 playmaking badges, man, you can do whatever you want with the with the playmaking go ahead and get the handles for days on on hall of fame on david hasselhoff you know what i'm saying get it as high as you need it because you will need it and with that being said man this build is complete we're gonna go into the takeovers you see we get shot creating and honestly i ain't gonna even front bro shot creating takeover is like it's 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 just glitchy bro you can really be out there just doing all type of all type of pull-ups and fades and I mean, what circus threes you can do with fades anyway, but bro, trust, hey man, it ain't it ain't messing with this this these shot creating takeovers and the sharp shooting, you already know how OP that is. Um in case you don't know the power of the playmaking takeovers, I'm just letting you know right now. If you get these badge boosts, takeover well not the sort of badge boost or the rating boost, bro, tell your teammates to shoot it. As soon as you give them the ball, tell them to shoot it. Just shoot it. Don't even don't think, shoot. Don't think, shoot. So as soon as they catch the ball, 
fire that thing up. So, all right, we're gonna go spot our precision on this just because that's the takeover I normally go with on my little builds, you know what I'm saying? That gives you a playmaking shot creator. You already knew it wasn't gonna be nothing else, man. Shades up, Mark Price, Mike Conley, and Darius Garland, man. This build is actually very, very toxic. But we're gonna go ahead and go over some of the badges on this build. Cause what is a build without the badges, man? All right, so starting off with the finishing badges, man. Of course, we are gonna want posterizer. Um, I just feel like for a small build, if you're gonna do it, do it all the way. We're gonna go posterizer, we're gonna go slithery, we're gonna go limitless, and with limitless or with anything else, with the, the, the things you wanna put on, the dunks, you wanna put on animation, you wanna put on, make sure you have on that quick drops off one, man. That dunk package, that dunk animation is honestly ridiculous, man. That, it, it's just a few animations in there that'll make you pretty good. And that one is one of them, man. I'm going to go with uh, Unstrippable and Lob City on Bronze. I don't expect to use Lob City. Don't, don't get me wrong. I don't expect to use Lob City at all. I just put it on because we got to put the badge somewhere, my boy. So with these, of course, of course, you know these little builds are just so dangerous because they have blinders on Hall of Fame. Like, it's a glitch. It really is. It, it, this game shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be so easy to shoot near people. I, I just don't think it should. Um, Dead Eye Hall of Fame, of course. Um, Stop and Pop, put that on Hall of Fame. I love that badge, personally. Um, with the Mismatch Expert, put that on Hall of Fame. Hot Zone Hall of Fame. And with these last few, you can really do whatever you want after you put Sniper on. Um, if you plan on taking those movement shots, I would suggest the Circus 3 badge. But if you dribble a lot, uh, rhythm shooter will do you just fine. And remember, you do have those extra six badges from the, the rebirth and then from uh, actually hitting level 39 twice. So don't forget about those two. And playmaking, honestly, a lot of these don't really matter. But uh, Bullet Pass on Hall of Fame is one of the best badges in the game. We can go Hyperdrive on Hall of Fame. I'm only put Quick Channel on Gold. Uh, triple Threat Juke, you can leave that alone. Uh, stop and go, that's very important, but I'm gonna put it on gold. I'm pluckable on gold. Quick first step on Hall of Fame. Glue hands, this one's up to you. It depends on how often you play off ball. If you play off ball a lot, or if you, you know, they y'all you utilize pass backs a lot, uh, put the glue hands kind of high. Um, I personally love handles for days. I'm always gonna have that on. And uh, just one of those badges, tight handles, the stun, I love it. So like, like I said, you do still have those extra badges. So with the six badge, you can split them three and three between playmaking and, and uh, shooting, and you'll end up pretty good on both of those. You know, those extra three badges, let's see. Yeah, you can get gold uh, tight handles, and then you can just add it to another shooting badge that you want. Maybe you want that circus threes. And then for this, um, I'm really not going too crazy with this, but I will be putting, um, pretty sure, uh, interceptor that has to go on. Um, if you actually play up top on this build, which I wouldn't suggest, pick dodger. Um, I'm putting ball strip on as high as I can get it. This, that kind of helps you stop those uh, taller builds, the ones that do have the finishing on. You want to make sure you can stop those guys because that is one of the most important things in the game when you do have such a disadvantage. And then for the last two, go ahead and put pickpocket on. And then I forget, but make sure you have clamps on. Clamps on bronze doesn't really do a lot, but it stops you from just getting blown straight by. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it for this build. I will catch y'all boys in the next one, man. It has been your boy, Don. Make sure y'all smash that like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll catch y'all boys in the next one. Peace.